Right then, here I am, just passing the last cottage now until I reach the stables, Tining Stables. It's quite dark in here. Um, it's lovely and cool. This is Robert Warren. I've just left Dolbury Warren after a lovely warm hike along with um, the trees all brightly lit up by the sun. They're green, really, really looking lush and beautiful. And here we are again, a beautiful Robero stream, running freely, people doing their gardening down there, looking after their homes, repairing their walls, clearing out the stream so it can breathe. I can see people ahead on bikes. I don't know if they're coming this way or going. You can't always tell sometimes if someone's actually arrives. Coming down, I think. I don't know. They're coming down or coming. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Um not sure, not sure. So anyway, I've videoed this stream all year round because I, I don't forget I still come out here in the winter. I still walk here in the winter. We don't have really bad winters. Um, oh, I haven't been out here when it's been snow. I must admit, that's something I'd love to do. This is the return trip now. But there's still a long way to go. There's still several hours of walking. But I'm enjoying it. And I'm not frightened because it's getting later. It's not uh, anywhere near 6 o'clock yet. I haven't got to worry about a bus either. I can see people on bikes further up. It's just... Let me see, what's that? 21 minutes past 4. It's still the afternoon. So I could be back in Cheddar by half six. And that's without rushing. That's without rushing at all. Somebody's got to hide up there. I can see people do watch the animals come down. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I wasn't going to video. It's so difficult when there's so much beauty around and the streams have been cleared and they're really, really busy. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, the, um, later on in the year I'm going to explore the Robert Warren more. More of its um, little tracks and stuff. It's really windy in here, isn't it? I've had to fill my bottle up. I knocked on the cottage door, there was nobody in, but they had a hose pipe attached to their home. So I just sort of thought, well, I, I went round knocking on the door, there's some cars out, and no one answered. Um, so I just turned the tap on for a very short period of time uh, but I don't think I let the water run through long enough through the pipe so I was a bit worried about that that water might have been warm in the pipe might be dodgy to drink um, I should have let it push more out until it was cold so I've still got a small bottle of water and I might be all right because I'm in this shade now yeah, I've, I've knocked on their door before, but I think the person that lived there now has either died or someone else has got it now and doing it up. <laughs> yeah, it's in great need of it. it. really is.
Well, I wanted a big walk and I've got one. I've done big hikes on the Quantox, don't forget, as well. I've done some really big ones. I never used to get back till 8 to Holford. So, this won't be the case here. It's not even half past four yet. And, uh, basically I'm just walking back towards the stable farm. It's a nice little route. I'm not going, to, I'm not going up over the top, exposing myself to all the heat and coming down that very bumpy track. I'm not doing that today. Oh, it's so beautiful, the sound of music. Yeah, it's going to be a shock when I leave this very, very shaded wood um, and come out into what is still quite hot sunshine, believe it or not. But I've got my hat on. But I've only got about half a pint of water. It could be three quarters. Uh, I've got that. I have filled up the other bottle, but like I said, I'm a bit worried about drinking it because it's it came out warm. It might have been lying in that pipe for days. Should have um, let it flow through properly, and I didn't. So I've got to really not drink it. I have to sterilise the bottle as well later. I could have asked someone else. I've seen two other people outside their cottages, but it was too late by then. I I didn't like to. Oh, you know, it's embarrassing, isn't it? I mean, you, they don't realise the sort of hike you do, and things I'm carrying around this, this water, and uh, I might ask at the farm, Tinian's farm, if they've got any water. They might do. They might let me have some. I'll empty that out, and, uh, Over and out.